Good evening and salam ibu pertiwi. This is the state news. As many as 18 areas in Sarawak from Sri Aman to Limbang have been identified to start the independent clean water supply program. According to Assistant Minister of Utilities, Water Supply, Dato' Dr. Abdul Rahman Junaidi, all 18 projects are included in the first package of the Sawas project, one of which is in Kampong Belanta. He said this during a visit by the Assistant Minister of Utility, Water Supply, and the Sarawak Alternative Water Supply System, Sawas, Awareness and Education Program, organized by the Sarawak Rural Water Supply Department of Kampong Belanta, Limbang, yesterday. The Sawas water supply in Kampong Belanta is provided free of charge with a construction cost of 4.6 million ringgit, fully funded by the Sarawak government. The project, which was started in late 2017, was completed by the end of 2018 and is set to be operational in December 2018. Dr. Abdul Rahman added that the Ministry of Utilities and JBALB have been given KPIs for two years from 2020 to 2021 to implement the 56 Sawas projects. Paving ways for new local talents, mainly among the youth of Sarawak, Bakat Kame will be having their final concert tonight at Dewan Undangan Negeri, Dun Lama. Graced by Sarawak Chief Minister Dato' Patiya Bangzori Tunabang Haji Openg, this program is also aimed to promote and instill the importance of education for the continuous growth of local talents. While collaborating with Uni Raza, Sidma College Sarawak is also offering a joint scholarship to the lucky winners as to honor the talented youth of Sarawak for their hard work and dedication throughout the program. Three winners from the singing category and three from the comedy category will also be receiving the Sidma Univazak Education Scholarship for 50,000 ringgit each, with the opportunity to pursue their education in any program of their choice at Sidma College, Sarawak. Well, that's all the news updates for now. Stay tuned for more. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thanks for watching.